Alright guys, we're gonna finish up the lesson we started on uh, Friday, on Thursday, um, which was the last part of solving your system of equations um, using a matrix. So I kind of rushed it over, um, trying to finish it up, but I did say I was gonna recap it on Monday. So I'm gonna try and do that on this video, um, just to showcase how the matrix is a little better when you're trying to solve your systems that does not have the triangular form. So recall from uh, Thursday, we said that the goal is to translate this kind of equations to where you have the triangular form, where at the end you have like the Z is equal to, to a constant then you'd be able to go back and substitute that. So matrix is a rectangular array that contains the elements. And so these guys inside here are called elements. These braces right here are just the brackets that I use to set up the matrix. When you're setting up your matrix, you just want to consider the coefficients from your problem. So seven, negative two, and one and seven you also consider the um, the constants for the answers so the matrix for this right here will be seven negative two one and then you can always draw a line to kind of differentiate that this are your the constants on this side are your numbers you don't have to but it's a good idea especially when you're starting off So this is our matrix right here. I'm going to move uh, to the next page and we're going to solve this um, this make we're going to solve this linear equation using this matrix. Okay, so I've kind of rewritten the matrix on this side which um, I did have an error on the last uh, page. This was supposed to be a 1, not a 7. Um, so one. Okay, so from here, our goal is going to try and change um, this diagonal right here. Our goal is going to try and change this to ones and anything that is going to be below it into zeros. And that will give us that triangular shape we're after, okay? So our goal is to make this guys right here into ones. And if you think about it, if this is a one, so the coefficient um, basically being a one, that would mean this would just be a Z and Z would equal whatever constant you have on the other side. And that's what we're after. We're after Z is equals two so that we're able to substitute and come up with the solutions for the rest. So this is my X, my Y, my Z column, okay? So again, ones, you want zeros over here. So this guys, you wanna turn them into zeros that's your that's your goal is to turn these guys into zeros over here okay all right so you're going to do different things so zero zero zeros and one 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 you're going to have to do different things to be able to transform um this matrix to what you're actually after you're going to add in some cases, you can subtract in some cases, eventually there might be even some uh, division or multiplication. Um, you can change, you can change your, your rows based on what you're trying to do. Your goal again is to get this into ones and this into zeros. So whatever you can get you there, you're going to try and do that. Okay, so what I did for this question, the first thing I did is I changed my row one and row two. I switched places with them, okay? So they switched places and that allowed me to start the process. So once you switch that, you would end up with, this would be now your row one. So negative one, three, four, and two okay and then this is now going to be your row two so you'd have one negative two one and seven row three doesn't change so row three stays the same so two two negative three negative two okay hopefully you can kind of see why i did that this right here would yield me a zero so that was kind of where that led me there that's what got me thinking to do that 
The more you kind of do this, the better you get at it. But I also find that if you work with matrices, they are a lot, um, they keep your work neater than if you're just working with the equations themselves. Okay, then from here, I'm going to add my row one, my row two plus my row three. This will give me my new row three. Note as I am going, I'm kind of writing arrows and I'm writing out what I'm doing. This right here, this is very detailed, considered like a regular matrix. You don't go into like that many details, but because we are starting and because you are starting, I would advise you to write whatever you, you, you need so that you can remember what you did in case you have an error and then you can go back and see what you did. Okay, so we're going to add row two and row three and that will give us a new row three. Okay, so because I'm adding row two and row three, row one still stays the same. So negative one, three, four, and two. Okay, now um, row two plus row three. Note the only one that's going to change is note row three. So this row two will still remain the same. So one, negative two, one, and seven. Now I'm going to add my row one, my row two, and row three. And that will give me my new row three. So we're going to have one plus uh, two, which is going to give us three. And then negative two plus two, which will give us a zero. And then we'll have one plus a minus three. So that's really one minus three, which would give us a minus two. And then we've got seven plus minus two, which will give us a five. So again, you want this diagonal to equal one everything below it to equal zero so you can kind of see that i kind of have a zero here i just need to make these guys zeros and everything else to be a one kind of have this as a negative one already there okay so the next thing i'm going to do is now i'm going to add my row one plus my row two and this will give me my new row two okay so we're gonna add row one and row two, and this will give me my new row two. Okay, so row one stays the same. So I'll still have negative one, three, four, and two. Row two is gonna change because I'm gonna be adding it. So I'm just gonna leave it like that for now. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just indicate my row uh, three because row three does not change. Row three will maintain the same. Okay, now I'm adding, again, we're adding row one and row two. So this is row one, I um, mean, row one and row two, sorry. Okay, so add those guys up and that will give you what goes here, okay? All right, um, let's do that. You'll have negative one plus one, which would give you a zero. And then you'd have a three minus two, which will give you a one. And then you're gonna have a four and one, which is gonna give you a five. And then two plus seven, which is going to give you a nine. Okay, note I have a, I'm kind of having ones. This is still a negative two. And the only thing I have now is this three and that negative two there. So I'm kind of getting there slowly. All right, so from here, I know that I need this, um, this to be a zero, right? So because I need that to be a zero, I see I have a negative one over here, stationed up here. If I multiply this by three, and then I add, then that would eliminate that. So I'm going to do that. I'm going now on the next one, I'm going to multiply row one, by three then i'm going to add row three to it and that will give me my new row three okay so row three will be changing row one will still stay the same so negative one three four and two Row two will still stay the same. The one that's changing is row three. Hope you can kind of read this. This is supposed to be a three. So that's the one that's changing. So row two will still remain as row two. So zero, one, 
five and nine. All right, now we're gonna change row three. Again, we're multiplying this first row by three, then we're adding this. So this would be three times negative one, which would be negative three. Negative three plus three would give us a zero. All right, times three, that would be a nine. Nine plus zero would give us a nine. And then we've got um, times three, that would give us a 12, and then 12 plus 2 would give us a 10. And then lastly, times 3, that would be a 6, and then plus 5, which would give us an 11. All right, so we're kind of, kind of going back and forth. You can see we kind of made progress, and now maybe it looks like we're backwards. But we're just going to keep maneuvering it until it does what we need it to do. So from here, and again, by the way, these are not the only steps you can do. There's different ways you can, like, there's different ways you can see would work better, and then you can just change it. So this is just the way I did it. But there's probably a better um, strategy. Maybe you can even notice a lot easier. Well, it would have been easier for you if you switched this and if you did that. So that's, that's totally entirely up to you. This was just me as I was solving and this is kind of how I went along, but you don't have to take the same, same steps. Your goal again is to make your diagonal to be ones and then your um, this little corner over here to be zeros. All right, so from now I'm going to multiply row two by negative uh, nine and then I'm going to add row three and this is going to give me my new row three. Again, we're multiplying this by negative nine. Then we're gonna add this. Okay, so row one still stays the same. And then row two will still stay the same. So zero, one, five, nine. And then now we're gonna change row three. We're gonna multiply row two by negative nine, and then we're gonna add row three. So that would be a zero and zero. So that would be a zero here. And then times negative nine, that would make that a zero when you add them. And then times um, negative nine, that would give us, um, what would that give us? 45, negative 45, and then plus 10, that would give us a 35, a negative 35. And then we've got, <coughs> excuse me, uh, we're multiplying this by, again, negative 9, so that would be a negative 81. Then when you add the 11, you'd end up with a negative 70. All right, guys, so here I am. Um, I am really, really close. I can see I got a negative, I got a one and one and a negative 35. I've got my zeros going. So the last thing I'm now going to do is going to be multiply my row three by a negative one over 35, okay? You can divide by negative 35 or you can multiply by negative one over 35. Either way, we'll get you there. Again, your goal is to try and get that matrix set up where you have 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0. So if you need to add, if you need to multiply, if you need to subtract. Okay, so we're going to multiply our row 3 by negative 135. So this would still be a 0. This would still be a 0. We're going to multiply this by negative uh, 35. I'll have a 1. And then on the 70 side, I'll end up with a 2. So here we go. I've got my 111 and my 000. So I have that um, triangular form. You can kind of see it going like that. So again, this is my Z column. So that means over here now I have Z is equals to 2. And now I can use back substitution to finish up the question. Okay, I found my Z being 2. Then just substitute that to find your X and Y. So substitute it just back in the equation, just like you did with the other questions, okay? So hopefully that kind of shows you how you can use the matrix um, to um, solve the system of equations. If you're given this equation and you have to solve, um, you can solve 
as it is or you can just put your numbers in the matrix as you can see it makes it a lot easier than having to deal with the x and the y and the z's and everybody else you're just concerned with the numbers until you get what you get so hopefully that's clear um you guys you have your um no homework um well no added homework really um because we um, have our homework, it's going to be due. We pushed it till Tuesday, and I believe that's what is uh, on my school app. You will have your quiz for 9-8 and 9-9. So what we did on, on Thursday, we're going to have this uh, on Tuesday. Hopefully, I'm back. Um, and then on Wednesday, we're going to review for our chapter nine tests okay chapter nine test review on wednesday so hopefully i'm back to school tuesday and wednesday i'm still running a fever so that's why i'm not there uh today um so yeah hopefully i'm back and then we can um do our quiz for this if i'm not there you're definitely going to do your quiz but then the review hopefully i'm definitely back for that one all right guys have a good day